In conclusion, I will never be on your cap again. Holy shit. Oh my god. Check this cool image of my brother. Bad. Holy shit. This is the image. Do not open this. This might be malware. You could get hacked. What? Bro, it's just a picture. I mean, listen to your voice. You sound like an AI. I am warning you. This is malware. Stupid clanker. Holy shit, I just lost three more brain cells. All right. Um, first of all, do not use any information from this video to harm anyone. Do not hack anyone. Do not do anything wrong, please. Uh, so let's begin. Today I will show you three ways to hide malware inside images. Let's say you have a, a piece of malware here, the one that you want to use, and also the image you want to use. For this one I will use this image, classic old Windows uh, background, and I will now show you the first way. Well, the first way is the easiest one. You just uh, grab your malware and just uh, hit rename. Uh, so uh, the name you want, then you add a dot jpg or a png or anything that is uh, a picture extension. Then you can just add the image as an icon and it should look something like this. Uh, malware.jpg.exe of course this is not uh, so powerful any person that has uh, extensions shown will see that this is not a .jpg or a .jpg or a .png and we'll see that it's a .exe which uh, I don't know could tell him this is probably malicious so with this one let's move to the second way I already have made a video for this one so I will just show you the footage now we have some malware and then image. We need to combine those two. How are we going to do that? First of all, let me make this image. You need to make this image into a uh, an icon. So we're going to type image to icon. Go to any of those websites, choose the file, and hit convert. Boom! You have the image and you have the icon select those two, right click, and here, add to archive with WinRAR, uh, rename it to whatever you want, I'm gonna rename it, uh, you know, some random letters, and I'm gonna go create SFX archive here, then go to advanced, SFX options, setup, and first of all, type the name of the image that you have on the desktop or whatever you're making this as you can see it's called image.png and then it will cyclone the exe the name of the malware app now what this will do is first of all open the image and then run the malware then go on mode unpack the temporary folder hide all Go to logo and icon here, add the icon you made, go to go to, well, to update, hit extract and update all files, overwrite all files, both are in the middle, make it look like that, then click OK, OK, and now we have our, uh, our malware image, why is it uh, like this? Just refresh your uh, wherever you're working and here we go. As you can see this is still a .exe meaning that uh, some smart people that have extensions uh, shown in Windows will understand that this is uh, possibly, probably, most likely malware and they of course will not click it and of course they will not download it. So how are we going to hide the .exe? First of all you need to open the character map and we're going to search for a specific character. Hit advanced view if it's not already checked. And search for 202E. Select and copy. And here we have copied a very special character. Now what this character does is um, everything that is after this character will be reversed. 
So go here before the dot and click Z and P, which is basically P and Z in reverse. You can use JPEG in reverse, uh, JPG in reverse, anything you want as long as it's an image extension. Now, then you have to go here before the Z and paste the character. And as you can see, the XA goes back and we're done. Now, this way is basically uh, a way to improve uh, the previous run. So yeah, we will use the malware image we already created using the previous way. So say you have this and you add it inside a folder. Say this folder is called images and it has, for example, multiple images or uh, a folder of a game that contains an image related to the game or to a different program, anything you can think of. Now, first of all, you need to rename this to .png. And of course, when you click it, it will not run, right? It's uh, an executable running with the .png extension. It will not run, but we will make it run by creating a shortcut. So right click, so more options, create shortcut, rename your shortcut to the original uh, name you want or whatever. And then hide the original properties, hit hidden and apply. Of course, uh, most people do not have view hidden objects. Uh, so yeah, this will be stealthy. And even if they do, this is just a .png again. Now right click your shortcut and hit properties and go on target, go here, type cmd.exe slash c and the file path that will already be there and run normal window minimized apply okay and as you can see uh, we have a cmd icon so again properties change icon browse find your icon and as you can see we now have a working malware image uh, shortcut i guess so click it and as you can see the image pops up the malware runs of course, in the background. For the bonus one, let's just say that you have the malware image ready, okay? What we need to do is just uh, rename it to .scr. Now, as you can see, nothing changed, but uh, the extension .scr is uh, an extension that not many people know, and it behaves just like .exe. As you can see, it works uh, just like the .exe one. And well, many people might confuse it for uh, an image extension. So yeah, this is just a bit more stealthy. Make sure to like, subscribe and join the Discord and also leave a comment suggesting new and stupider ideas. With that said, see you in the next one.